You know, it might help to actually start the stream. <laughs> Alright, how's this new thing look? Hello, Tyrion.
right, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Hello. Um, welcome to another Saturday edition of Retro and Craftsy. We are continuing our playthrough from last week. Uh, we are playing more Blue Stinger. Uh, Blue Stinger, if this is the first time, if you decide to watch this one first instead of the other one. Um, Blue Stinger is a uh, survival horror game for the Dreamcast uh, that is considered to be kind of a cult classic because it's kind of goofy. Not going to lie. Kind of more goofy than scary, but um, yeah, um, it definitely has its fans, uh, which, yeah, is certainly a thing, as kind of. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this is, um, yeah, so this is, yeah, it's it, it's Blue Stinger. That there's Dog's Bower. He's there on a the thumbnail. Um, let's go ahead and start. <laughs> I really can't think of much else to say. I could barely actually remember what we were actually doing, uh, but I'm sure I'll remember when I actually load the thing up. And we'll see if we how Redream handles saves. That looks about right, and that looks about the amount of money. It looks to be about the money, amount of money we had. Okay. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there is a new area that opened up through here. Oh, right, I forgot that it's not, like, I forgot that you don't move smoothly. Like, you move, like, as you would actually move. Like, it's kind of subtle, but it's there. And I don't know if I hate it or not. Also, I went the wrong way. Elliot. What's the code? My sweetheart. Also, as I do, just a smidge of audio balancing. There we go. Gasp. What a bitch. <laughs> I think she's cute. Great, I'm glad that that's what we opened up with. Uh, all right. All right, we have the the laser Honda steel. Okay. All right, how the hell do I play this guy? Ah, Jesus! What the hell was I supposed to do about that? Okay, so I can't aim through that. Oh. Okay, I can't shoot the thing, apparently. Ow. Oh, right, this game. Right, I forgot I was playing Blue Stinger. Okay. Get in, get in. See, we've gone full Star Wars. Yep. Lightsabers, force gates. Ah! The little key on me. 
Okay. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Okay, it's dead. It's, okay, it's supposed to hang from the ceiling. I thought it was just like the sprite decided to just stay there. Nope, I think it's supposed to stay there. Well, that sprite uh, model. I know what you meant. It's been a long week. <laughs> Overtime season can kiss my ass. Yeah. I, I can I can get you there. Yeah. Yes, he does swing the sword around like an idiot. I I can appreciate that because that's about how I would swing if I had a lightsaber. I'd keep it as far away from me as possible. Ow. Yeah. Shiny. Another I've large pass. Seeing you play this makes me want to see you play uh, Carrier all the more. God. That's another Dreamcast game, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. I mean, I figured... <laughs> I mean, I figured the next logical step from this is Illbleed. Well, na naturally, yeah. You can't go from Blue Stinger to anything else. It has to be Illbleed. Ow. Ow. God. Also, weirdly enough... Uh, another, another game that I had a weird urge to play, uh, was, uh, while watching someone play it, and I know you mentioned it, that you weren't a fan of it, uh, Overblood 2. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, uh, mm, <laughs> that was a game. Yeah. That, that's all I can really say, because, like, you gotta experience. I appreciate you can get crushed by the ass again. Mm -hmm. Sex it up. I know the, the, the purpose is to kind of like look back on stuff and try to be, you know, more positive about it, but Illbleed, after playing through it, I just know how I'm going to react the entire I time. I mean, <laughs> look, I know not everything's good. <laughs> I know, I know. But Illbleed's just so interesting because, like, it's great to watch someone else play it, but it's fucking miserable to play it. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's just one of those kind of things. It's Where a... is this that keeps shooting you? Uh, there's some sort of, like, drone it looks like. I'm guessing you can't, oh, uh, God. lock on. Uh, no. No, you can't. That's great. Uh, I wonder if I had, I was playing as, like, I wonder if there was, like, a character, because I know I have a, ro I can get a rocket launcher. Yes. Uh, or if there is a weapon that has, like, maybe I should be using something else. I couldn't tell you, because I only played, like, maybe an hour or two of this game, and I was like, yeah, I don't get what people like about this. Uh, it's goofy, that's what people like about it. <laughs> and people have a real sense of, uh... Weirdly enough, people have a weird sense of irony in terms of, like, haha, it's this game, it's funny, but also, good luck playing it. Yeah. It's fun when we can make jokes about it and not actually have to sit and play it. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. So, I will say, one thing about this is that it's not the worst. Oh, no, absolutely not. I, as I get just repeatedly lasered to death, which this I'm just gonna hassy my way through. This is fucking not good. Oh shit! Oh shit! I don't. I I can't. Okay. What's Maybe that? if I can. Okay, I can do that. Okay. I have a feeling there's 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 got to be like a thing that I am just very much missing. You didn't hit a switch or something. That's yeah. Gotta be it. Because otherwise, this would be, like, incredibly bad. Looks like as long as you keep running and don't, like, stop, you should be a fun. It's you have to run at a very particular angle. Okay. Yeah. That's already been downloaded. Oops. Okay, well, at least all my safe starts are there. Yeah, I agree with Tyrion. The coveted, the, there are worse things, seal of quality. Because there are worse games than this, like Carrier. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, there. Yeah, uh, like say Light carrier because it's just like this. It is so fucking stupid. Also, just a reminder that uh, not the so the long so not the next long play game because I mean we're doing aliens this week. Right. Uh, so due to some scheduling things, uh, long play games are going to be put on hold slightly. Oh. Uh, because uh, I might be doing something on Christmas that I haven't fully... I, we haven't fully ironed it out. Uh, but that means that my initially planned boxes episode isn't going to happen. So I wanted to do boxes again before the the refresh. So... No. Um, next two Sundays are probably going to be uh, boxes. But uh, to get to the point that I was going to make... <laughs> um. Uh, after that is Megami Tensei two. Uh, but then after that is Sentient. Uh, I don't know Sentient. Uh, it's a Psychosis horror game. Oh God! You just had to say Psychosis. You didn't have to tell me. At anything least else. I remember it's. I'm pretty sure it's. I'm like 95% certain it's Psychosis. Okay, also... Oh, I really fucking hate this a lot. Yeah, I, there's got to be something I'm just missing. Like, I like the Dreamcast in theory, but my time with playing games on the Dreamcast, I kind of feel like people have... I, I don't know. My opinion is is that it's an interesting console, but it's definitely overhyped by people. Oh, the Dreamcast? Dreamcast, yeah. Um... That's just my opinion. It's it, not a bad system, but it, it's not as good as people say it is. It's... I don't, like... I, I, like, I had a Dreamcast, so I, I really... I I have fond memories of the Dreamcast, to say the least. Um, but it's... It like, is I a console that got screwed out of timing. Yeah, which is also fair, but like I said, I don't know, I just feel like people are a little too nostalgic for it and kind of overlook Blue Stinger, Ill Bleed, Carrier, uh, Kiss Psycho Circus, just like, there are a lot of really bad games on this system. Though, to be fair, uh, you could say that about any platform. Uh, you could which is al also true. You could argue you could say that about the PS2, for example, but, um, yeah. The Dreamcast was a system that was um, hampered by Sega being Sega and also um, just weird timing because if the Dreamcast had a DVD drive, I wonder if it would have survived because the fact that it didn't have a DVD drive at that crucial time, I bet you would have changed something. I also kind of like my other issue with it is the controller. I don't like I, I don't like uh, the Nintendo 64 controller. For, for fair enough, but the Dreamcast controls just this giant mound of plastic. I uh, I would also agree that the Dreamcast controller is not the best. Also, oh, yeah. there it is. Like I'm not saying this this system is bad what? for any oh. stretch of the imagination. It says what? Wait. What? Oh, okay. That's a weird camera angle. Okay, let's pass you it up. All right. Um, like, yeah, no, I'm like, I'm not trying to, to badmouth the system or anything. I just, I feel like before I actually ever played a Dreamcast game, I've heard, you know, this is one of the best systems ever. It was ahead of its time, you know, this, that. And then when I play it, it's like, it's okay. Um, It's interesting. It's very, oh yeah, that also <laughs> didn't help. But um, it's a weird, it's a weird pseudo generational Thing because it's not it is halfway between the generation of the PlayStation 1 the generation of the PlayStation 2 right uh, it technically is of that same generation as the PS2 but also it seems to it to me it at least seems to be in a different power category which is also fair I mean I'm a Nintendo 64 apologist I think the system is a bit better than people give it credit for but I also recognize it's a very flawed system um so take that as you will yeah like I would I would say that the Dreamcast very much is kind of an N64 
situation. Yeah. I, I, I would agree with that. Okay. Like, the only the only difference between the two of them is I think the 64 was able to handle first-person shooter concepts better just because of Turok. Yeah. The Dreamcast was... It was a problem that... It was designed for a class of game that... Or the Dreamcast made its controller for a class of game that the N64 didn't. Or yeah. like, it was... Or I should say... Whoop. It's a chasm. <laughs> uh, it's history. You can't go any further. Don't give up so easily. Okay. Um... It's, uh... Yeah. yeah. It, uh... Yeah, the Dreamcast control, like, game design and, like, the kind of games that got in popular changed when the Dream... Like, as the Dreamcast started. Yeah. So, it kind of screwed itself by that. And, yeah, the... Basically, it seemed like I would agree that the Xbox essentially is the Dreamcast, too. And uh, that also comes, I don't like the Xbox controller either. The Duke, I don't get the nostalgia behind it, because, it, again, it's, it's too big. Uh, it is, what shape is your hand? Yeah. I have little hands. I can't handle the big plastic. The control, the S controller was pretty decent. Uh, I liked it better than Duke, but... Um... I'm also someone who always pretty much about 90% of the time preferred Xbox controllers to Sony or er, over Sony controllers, but that's I fully admit is me. Yeah, it's not, I mean, that's, it's not to say you're wrong or I'm right or I'm wrong and you're right. I mean, I prefer Sony controllers to Xbox controllers, especially the 360. There, I was going to say, but yes. That the 360. Was unforgivable. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I will fully admit that 360 controller. <laughs> The only reason I used the 360 controller so much uh, was solely because of the fact that th that was it was a hell of a lot easier to plug into a computer. Yeah. Well, we didn't have all the, the tools that we have now at the time. You, had, you either put in an, a 360 controller or fuck you. Okay, you know what? Something about this screams. Save state? Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, no, like, um, I totally understand, you know, like, it really, it, it kind of depends on how you grew up, because I grew up originally on, so my, like, I was, my first console was Atari, and then after that, we were in a Nintendo household, you know, uh, SNES and N64, because we skipped NES, and then a friend gave us a PS1, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, but no memory card, and yeah. a bunch of stuff. And then all of a sudden, you know, I was played like I played all the way through Resident Evil 2 without a save, and like I became a Sony fan. And then there was Jack Daxter, Ratchet Clank. I mean, so I've been a Sony person for the longest time. See, I, I literally have all four, uh, all five PlayStations in my house. Yes, um, I, I kind of was a. Sony person, not by, um, I'd say not by choice, uh, for just due to the fact that I was into something more niche that was only on Sony is because in the PS2 era, I was super huge into, um, the, uh, the Mani games, uh, your B-Manias, your DDRs, and your poppin' musics, uh, which you could oh, okay. only get that on the PlayStation. Yeah, DDR was uh, DDR was exclusive to arcades and PS2, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I, I would say PlayStations. Yeah, because there was also yeah. PlayStation One technically, but I, oh. I, you know, what you meant. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it yeah. was tail end. So DDR first one was in '99. So. Did you ever get? Because I know Bear kind of likes them, but did you ever get into oh. the pots and? Okay, well. Oh. Okay, that's what that does. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Hatsune Miku, Miku games? Uh, they're, like, I tried them, they're okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and yeah, I always had an affinity for Nintendo stuff, but I never was like super like into it because I didn't I didn't like the N64. Well, I liked games on the N64. I wouldn't say that I liked the N64. Which I, is a very common sentiment. I, I agree. did not. I like I liked the GameCube Elite or less. Wow. Really? Uh, um, just because there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot I was into on the GameCube. Okay, outside of Fantasy Star Online, which that <laughs> if it was a Fantasy Star Online console, yes, I would love the drink uh, the GameCube. Uh, yeah. I it actually there was a period in which I preferred Pump It Up. Uh, I Pump It Up is interesting. Uh, good luck ever trying to play it or like on anything like. God, Pump It Up is so you weird. Need to do we need to look up what to do next? Uh, you seem to be kind of roaming a bit. Yeah, that might help. All right, uh, let me see. So, here, I'm going to link you the guy that I'm using. All right, that works. Because it, ju it just might be a little easier if I have this up, open in the background. So, yep. I think we are... Art. Yeah, there's no ASCII What's the last thing you... What's a big last... Oh, you picked up that card. Yeah, it was the fuel card and the life hooks. Okay. Okay, no results for fuel card. Uh, and no, nothing for life. Uh, the thing I didn't like about the GameCube is I just didn't really like the games on it. Uh, with, again, the exception of, like, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Fanstar Online. Which, uh... If, if I could say one game... Like, I, like... I put more time into Fanstar Online, like, about... That was about the amount of time that most people put stuff into stuff for the GameCube. Same guy. Who did this? So, Fantasy Star Online, um... Peterson. First came out on the Dreamcast. Uh, the version that was for the GameCube and Xbox was a new version that had a new, um... episode in it. So it was technically kind of a new game. But it was essentially the same game. Uh, I did have the special keyboard controller, and it's actually more comfortable than you think it would be. Um, go back to the top of that ladder. Also, give me one second. Because I think, yeah, yeah, you're right here. It was, so this, so both guides, because I looked at the one guide and I'm not really digging it, so I tried another one. They both call it the permission key card. Okay. So that's why I couldn't find it. So yeah, head up there. Uh, so... So, at Fanstar Online Episode 3 was its own unique game that was a card game. Hmm. Uh, that was unique in the fact that, um... Okay, so... Okay. Um, so put that in there, lowered the little ballards. So the okay. thing that was interesting about Fanstar Online Episode 3 was that it was asymmetric in that there was the hero and the battle, or the hero and the villain side, uh, and they played completely differently. There it is. Okay. That's what you gotta do next. Uh, intake holes are the small smokestack type tubes on the roof of the fuel tank. Okay. So you've walked past them a couple times. Yeah, because I saw them and I didn't. It didn't look like I could interact with them at all. Uh, but I think you got to do something with one of them. Okay. Based on what I'm seeing here. Oh, well, let's find out. Huh. Okay. Let's... I don't. Hold on. I. This wouldn't. Because I haven't had to do this before. Hmm. That's what the guide says. Um, uh, does it say what it needs? What I need to do? Use oh. the permission key card in the terminal. Uh huh. You'll be told to remove the lock cap from one of the intake holes. Intake holes are the small smokestack type tubes on the roof of the fuel tank. Next, ne next, make your way to the roof of the fuel tank and use any weapon to break open okay. one or more of the intake. There you go. Okay. Just smack it. Give it a smack. Oh, well, good thing I have a lightsaber. Bonk. 
So my favorite thing about Fantasy Star Online and those GameCube ports is that people, because you can't play that game officially anymore because servers are just offline. Uh, however, there are like five different private servers still running for Fantasy Star Online in such a way, in the way that they have them running now, uh, allows you to actually play with the GameCube uh, with in their servers. That doesn't sound good. Hello, Shark Vega. We're about to explode. Uh, what? <laughs> Poor K? <laughs> Oh, this is fucking fantastic. This is this is peak gaming right here, folk. What? Okay. I uh, I guess I sh Okay, so you I got, okay. I know what you got to do. I have to do one and only one? No. No, 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 no. Um let me see. Uh one or more. So you can do all three if you want. I'm just going to do one. All I'm going to give you a hint is, look around. Oh, do I have to jump off the side? Warning. Personnel without level 1 pyrotechnic clearance are not allowed beyond this point. Intake system. This system takes air from the top level of the tank to avoid corrosion. Do not expose to heat. Would you like to activate the intake system? Okay, I'm curious. Okay, that disables that. Warning. Oh, okay. Got it. I think we'll see if this works. I don't know if I had enough time. I'm excited to see this. I bet you I know, so... We'll see on the fly. This place is kind of a shithole. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Fun fact, I didn't even look that up. I just figured because of the... Uh... Wow. Yeah, that that, <laughs> that pixelated good. I was I was I was uh, looking at the ragdolling, but no, yeah, that flame was uh, that explosion was um, inspired. Thank you, very very suspiciously placed. Safe point. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, I'm surprised I didn't take damage from that. I appreciate when a game doesn't force uh, you to take damage out of uh, cutscenes. Yeah. I especially appreciate games that don't force you to take damage and then suck down a healing item just to train you how to use a healing item. Yeah. I'm 36. I fucking know how to do it. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh. Tap, tap. Uh. 
Okay. You know, just call like I just got a hunt. I think there's gonna be a boss fight soon. If I thought I let's see, did I see a shiny? My gamer sense is tingling. Uh huh. Well. Well, I'm looking for the emergency light. There should be a control panel close to the emergency light. Could you check it out? Check. Got it. All right. Uh, also. Let us save. I'm in. Um. I don't know, the way you said it just kind of sounded <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a thing in church, like, let us save. May your memory card not be full. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hooray, I found a handgun magazine. Okay, I'm curious, why is there a... Oh, good. Can I buy... A shit ton of Hassie. Also... Oh, hello, Ice Claw. Stuck down that hassy. Just shotgun it. Okay, what do you think is in that sandwich? Uh, so we were thinking possibly. I'm thinking either egg and cheese. Okay. It looks like a breakfast sandwich. Okay, I can see the egg and I can see the cheese. I'm saying I'm gonna say the center is um uh crap I've forgotten it uh sausage. Starts with a P. Uh. Pastr pastrami? Pastrami. Pastrami, yeah. Egg, cheese, and pastrami sandwich. That's... I don't know how well that would be. <laughs> Pastrami's great. I'm not fond of egg, though. I, I'm not either. I've never actually had pastrami, because it always looked, like, very dry. Um, it's actually surprisingly not, if, if you get it, uh... You get it fresh. Uh, I'm gonna say, that's probably not fresh. No, it doesn't look like that. The thing with the like the middle looks kind of jellyish, but the problem is the yellow bit of it. Yeah, I mean, the, just from the texture, I I would assume it's egg. That's what it looks most like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I found a crank. So it's not proper survival horror if I don't find some random implement. The game's not a horror game if there's no, uh, crank in it. Yeah. Oh, there's another one behind it. As we make our way through the Dreamcast games, the only other game that I really want to see get streamed is The Ring Terror's Realm. Um, yeah, the thing with the Dreamcast is that there's a lot of weird, like, random games that are actually kind of neat. Like, um... Yeah. Yeah. That's your cable. Um... Stuff like uh, environmental gimmick gear, uh, there's stuff. Oh yeah, that. And then there's also, um, there was an evolution? Yes, evolution. Oh, yeah, I forgot what the subtitle is, but yes, that's a weird franchise. Mm -hmm. uh, Skies of Arcadia also is technically a Dreamcast game, although you can play it in the GameCube, just like Evolution. Mm -hmm. Um, There's, I mean, Soul Calibur came out for it. Yeah. Which that alone was pretty good. Um. Door is locked. I like the, I like the animation of. Dog dogs. You on. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah, you crank it, boy. Okay, you good. Crank it. <laughs> oh wow, that's bright. 
Really? Oh, I see. This is interesting. I like this room. Yeah. Good thing that monster had a uh, change. Yeah, change. Like, I need change because it's I'm totally not using infinite ammo or money. What do you mean technically is kind of infinite ammo in this game? Well, I mean, if you're playing Metro, your ammo is technically money. So yeah. Your statement's not necessarily incorrect, just wrong game. Yep. <laughs> That's an interesting series, uh, Metro. I remember playing the first one, and then I got to an escorts mission, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm done with this game. <laughs> yeah, the Metro games have one big problem, and that they really like the Nasalis wave fights. Uh, is there, are, just... are those a little? Uh... What you call it? Boys. Little snufflies that uh, run around and like smack you and. Oh, I was thinking the slime things. No, 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 no. They're the they're the bigger like uh, they got the weird gangly nose type thing. It's the first cutscene you see in Metro. Oh, is okay. a bunch of Nasalis surrounding you. Uh, but what they do is they set you on like a you have to be like do a thing and then you gotta wait for the thing to happen and while you're waiting you gotta fight oh. Nasalis. Yeah, Bongayo. That's another Dreamcast game that's really good. Bungayo, I've heard of that. Uh, we did it a while ago. Also, if I remember correctly, I... I don't... Is the... Okay, I think the Ray Sword is technic... Okay. If I were to go on the logic of... Lower down on the list is probably stronger. I would probably say that the Ray Sword is probably the strongest. Also, How's a fist yeah. weapon going to be more powerful than an axe, though? Uh, the greatest weapon ever. If it's steam-powered. Okay, what about a steam-powered axe? Uh, I don't have a steam-powered axe, I only have steam-powered fists. Well, this game sucks, then. I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> yeah, because the other things in this game totally were selling you on this. <laughs> Aside from not having a steam-powered axe, this game is pretty alright! Top 10 favorite games. Okay, I do think it is technically weaker. Although, theoretically, although I should be playing as dogs more. Is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to turn it, his weapon into wrestling. I think I'm going backwards. You do have a map. I do have a map. Okay, I've been there. So you say Bongayo, and I think of that uh, a completely different game, Boktai. Yeah, Boktai is definitely a different game. Also, wait, how do I... I need to do wrestling moves. I don't know, well, that, that did it. Okay, that's weird. I just like the giant levers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Is this what I had to do? Is there's gonna be like two of them that are like, oh, uh, this one's weak. Oh, that's right, because you picked up the cables. Yeah. 
God, you gotta go into every room and check every case. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> this cable looks fine. Oh, there. A lot of tin foil. I'd hope they have some sort of graphic that would be like, hey, we're like. I don't know. You have to, like, hold... That's what I thought, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, wait. How'd I do that? There you go, you did a thing. A lot of blood. Oh! Oh, you gotta okay. hold it... Huh? You gotta hold it down, and then you do a charge. But only if there's room. I'm starting to think this actually might be a bad idea. <laughs> Probably. Looks more like a gimmick than actually useful. Yeah. Well, then I could also use the cl the Oni Club that I got, which seems to it takes like two, like, good four seconds to come out, but then it just kills whatever the hell it touches. Ugh, this is a lot. Okay, let's go in that first sector, because it seemed like there probably is, like, one in there. Yes, that's right. Dogs does have the power of shorts. Insulated gloves. The Bermuda Bank- oh, okay, right. Does he have the power of the Canadian tuxedo? Uh, no. Oh, I get it. So, you know what room you're in by the uh, letter on the, the ground. Yep. Oh, another electrical cable. Like I said, I'll offer help only after you ask for it. That works. See, this cable looks fine, this cable looks fine. This cable looks fine. Fine. At least this game does have the decency of having the thing that it will tell you if you've been in a room or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. I 
One of my favorite tropes of survival horror games is melee weapons that aren't that great. Yeah. Looking at you, Resident Evil and Tormented Souls. Let's see. Okay. I was trying to figure out where... I, Cause also it's great to have a map that doesn't have any sort of positional, uh, like, thing on it. Okay, there's no one going to the automatic door. Does it by chance tell you what doors or what rooms need to be changed? Um, I can tell you where you should go. Uh, that would be good. So according to this, the exact wording is inside the power plant, make your way to the rear right corner where you will find a glowing red button on the wall. All right. So I think on the map you gotta go to the bottom right of the level. Okay, so that's down there. Yeah. That's what you're looking for right now, is a bright red button. All right. Maybe by rear it means top? Could be, if I look at the map again. Mm. What, we, what does it look like? Uh, okay, so the, what about that one empty room? So that is a room that we don't, we can't get into because there is no power. I see. Okay. All right. Uh, let me find. Now the question is, should I go the other way? No, I didn't. Okay, so I need to go the other way. I hit red button. Because, yeah, this is the administration office. There's no power. There's a thing over here, though. Oh, wait, there was a... Wait. Hold on. Click the map again. There should have been two more doors, actually. Nice, they bookmarked this. Thank you, person. Oh no, I have to listen to somebody talk. No, I don't. Oh, there's little side doors in there. Okay, that didn't... That wasn't clear, but I don't... Oh, there we go. There's one. Okay, so there's a dark room. Let me see, hold on, he's, no. Oh, you did that already. That was that cut scene where she talked to you and then two just stood there talking for a short time. Okay. Second. So you already hit the button. Okay, now what happens after the button? Okay, after the button. Because I did, I did change out one of the cables.
Because it says you're supposed to be turning on the emergency lights. Okay, she tells you to look for control panel near the emergency light button. Okay. So you need to go back to that room. Uh, back to the, like the one that has a whole bunch of like consoles and all that. Yeah, where you press that button, you got that cutscene. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how the hell I get out of here. Okay. At the administration office, I went the other way. Okay, let's check this area again. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm curious about the rooms that I've not been in here. God, there are so many little side doors. I really wish that it was not... That, um... There was some sort of positional indicator on this map. Um, so, if you check the computer, it'd tell you where to go and which ones to do. Oh, okay. That's kind of why I was telling you to go back, because it'll give you direct information on the area and exactly which, okay. which circuits need to be fixed. Alright, let's see if I can find out then... How do I get back there? I can just post it if you want. Uh... Rather than making you do all that backtracking. Let's see if I... Okay, if this is the right way, then I just gotta go over here. But that also means finding the rest of the cables. Uh, how many cables do I need to... Eight. Just eight of them? That's what this is, uh, if this is correct. Okay. Power system is off. Output OVA. Superconductivity power is non-functional. Okay, B4. 4, 3. R, 6, 1. B43 R61. Can someone B43 I got it. I've, R I've literally got it right here. Okay, that works. <laughs> <laughs> I have the answer already. There's uh, another com terminal that'll tell you the other two. Okay. Yeah, mine. Let's see. So it's B43 R61 Y13 and G32. Okay, B43. Maybe it's only four. Maybe it's literally saying B4 the room and then number three. Yeah, B. F so yeah, it's B4 and then the. So it's the B. Third cable. Yeah. Okay, where's B4? The B4? This B4. Then R61. I forget what that material is, that shiny material. You see it on like air ducts and shit. Um. Also, I'm just going in here to see if there's like any more cables. Because it seems like there's one that I did not go in here. Well, there's an enemy in that other room. Okay, I gotta go down that hallway.
Oh, actually, what we could do. Mm. I wonder. Your items, food, sandwich, info. It is ham and egg. Huh. That does not look like ham, or any ham that I would put my mouth on. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's a gross sandwich. Okay, let's see if I got enough cables. Because it was R6-1... R6. So I need to find the room R6. Oh, there it is. This cable's burnt out. Okay. We need to find an additional cable. Uh, where is... Additional... Where are the cables, you ask? So, in the cable warehouse, there were two cables. Yep. Room R7 has a cable. I bet you that's the one that we're missing. R7. Okay, that's... Spam counts... Spam counts as nothing. That's R1. R2. R4. R3. R5. R6. R7. I don't like spam. There we go. Yeah. It, it, Elliot, Elliot, please. How do I door? How do I door? Oh. <laughs> Take that. All right, please. There you go. Good time. Let there be light. Power system output is decreasing. The power supply outside the power plant will be terminated. What? Hang on, let me check. I <laughs> like just, you can see the wheels turning. Yep. God. <laughs> no thoughts, brain empty. Only has he. <laughs> okay. His blood's like 90% assy at this point. So I guess try that door? Yeah, did it say the the administration room or did it say did it said the emergency panel, but now I think I can go into the administration room. Yes again. Yeah. And then to key room. Box shotgun shells, the words or shotgun. Was this thing just a... Was this a key that was hiding a... All that's in this room is another key. Haha, <laughs> fools... Fools, you're playing a rise now, bitch. That's what I was about to say. It's like, is this a flash <laughs> game? <laughs> <laughs> find a key to find a key to find a key to find a key. Okay. Unlike developers. <laughs> find a key, find a key, find a key. <laughs> it actually has, I think, the same syllables. God, what? Okay, God, I'm trying to remember. Because spam is something ham, and I forgot what the word is. Well, isn't it? It's simulated ham. It's, it's, not, it's not. Well, the word isn't simulated, but essentially it's what it is. Hmm. Spiced. Yes. The only spiced ham, the only spiced pork related thing that I like is chorizo. Of which I have quite a few pounds for burritos. I've not had chorizo in, well, at all. <laughs> it's very delicious. Okay.
Well, this looks emergency-ish. Uh, this also looks like something that I can do something stupid with. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Good. I'm glad I'm playing Irritating Stick. Oh, here's... Yeah, I'm not dealing with your bullshit. <laughs> I, I see what you're going to have me do, and I don't like it. Going to be Mission Impossible? Uh, it's going to be, uh, play one of those marble labyrinth things, but with a with natural person. Yes. Okay. Okay, what's in this one? No oh, ammo. Like also, I, go ahead. No, nah, I was just gonna respond to Echo Hotel. Yeah. You go first. Um, your Mega Club key. Uh, no, it just like he did like a little look. It's like, oh, where's what room is this? And it's like, okay, that's ominous. Did I forget to do something? I think I missed something, actually. Alright, you gotta go back to the, uh... The thing starting to... Room. Starting room? Okay. Yeah, computer. So, Echo, um... I want to point out that any item that... Any, like, meat... Meat adjacent item that has a multi-decade shelf life is probably not something you should consume. Looking at you, McDonald's hamburgers. <laughs> I mean, there's other reasons why you shouldn't eat those, but... I mean, the fact that they could literally sit in your stomach for weeks before they can digest is enough to turn me off of McDonald's. I don't think I've had a McDonald's in, like, at least a decade. And you are a better person for it. Okay. <laughs> power system is engaging. The power supply is restricted to power plant area. Power system is achieving maximum output. Supplier unit is now activated. Output OVA. Electric system power is declining. Power is maxed and the light's still not on. Where's the juice? Let me check the source. It's on the third floor. Okay. Is that what we need to do? There you go. Now you're on the way. Alright, now I get to go back. Uh huh.
I don't know if I agree with that hotel. But then again, I'm not a nutritionist. That was not a wolf. That's a shiny over here. Oh, right, that's that. I hate how quick it is to... Oh, I see. See, it's like the dogs, only not scared. Yeah. Okay, now that I've got that... Yes, I know the map's already downloaded. I'm not going for the map. Yes. Bye. Just wanted to talk to you about our Lady of Perpetual Stinger. It's a great camera angle. I don't have the car. Great. Oh, that, that one's picking up holding a dude. Uh, try to kill that one. Yeah, that's... Maybe, maybe the dude's got something. Yeah, he's probably got... <laughs> Is that how... I mean, that's fucking great. I love it. <laughs> that's great. That's... Okay, that's one way of gating that you have to kill the enemies in that room. That's pretty good. I, I like that. A lot, actually. Oh, there I got the... There's that. Okay. That sounds like a boss. This monster was sucking up all the juice. We've got to get rid of them. The Jords are very good. Jords give you extra power, scientifically proven. Oh, I see. Oh, that that was a bad idea. This. Okay. Okay. Food. I think it's time for a burger. Also, I think it's time for a different weapon. I love getting stun locked. <laughs> Something's wrong. I love how epic this music is and how not epic this game is. I mean, that's kind of been the thing throughout this entire game, has been the music does not fit what's going on, except for the city. It's just great because, like... They just, they just asked the, uh, 
the con the composer to like you know come up with some songs to kind of go with the this action. The corner's like, I'm gonna fucking do my absolute goddamn masterpiece on this game. Don't yeah. you worry. <laughs> Janine, come in. Over. We're going back. I think she's in trouble. It's time to drink a hassy. I actually don't know if it's just the way that it looks that... Whether or not you do actually move... Actually, I do think you move faster. What? Oh, uh, the more health you have. Maybe by, like, a little bit, probably. Uh, also, I, I take issue with them calling hassy a food. Drink is not a food. It's called food and drink. They are separate things. That wouldn't fit in the box, though. <laughs> okay. Let's see, can I buy more Hassie here? I can't buy more Hassie. I would say soup is a food. Uh, I think it's a the type of soup. Yeah, tomato like tomato soup. That's a drink. There, <laughs> there has always been something that has bothered me about the concept of just drink drinking broth. I don't know why. Well, you're not supposed to drink broth on its own. You're supposed to drink broth in conjunction with the food. The broth is, you know. I uh, so. <laughs> Apparently on the side of things, like, they make broth that has, like, is in a container that's specific... Specifically for... Okay, nice. I'd like that. Um... Yeah, um, I would say if it's a soup that has... Meat and oh Jesus Christ! It. What the fresh hell is that thing? Oh hi! Uh, oh hey, here's Elliot's bazooka. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that a car on the back of it? I believe it is. No, it's it's a it's a truck or not truck a jeep. Yeah, that's a jeep. Okay. The monster was holding something. Car key. Huzzah. Okay, let's, uh... So it's the end of the year and my, uh, employer gave us a bunch of different, uh, options as gifts. Uh-huh. Like, uh, like a backpack, you know, some carry-on luggage and shit like that. And then amongst it is a juicer. So guess who's getting a juicer? Yeah, a juicer ain't bad. <laughs> Like, I assume it's not a big one, it's probably like a tiny one, but still. Never had a juicer. I don't juice anything. Maybe I can finally get some good fucking orange juice. Yeah, there you go. It's not Juicero, no. That... My company's uh, it... stupid, but they're not that stupid. God, is Juicero still a thing? I can find out. I hope it's not. Nope. Uh, in 2017, uh, the Guardian, yeah, the Guardian wrote the following article: 
squeezed out. Widely mocked startup Juicero is shutting down. Good, because it was a really dumb idea. It was. It raised $120 million from investors. Yeah, that sounds Why about right. Which people are so stupid, and it bothers me. Yes. <laughs> like, if you really think about it, if I had, like, say, $100 million, right? Uh -huh. I'd buy a, I'd buy like a five room house, a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room, and I forget what else. But just a, a nice house. Then I've got all this other money to do shit with: give to charity, buy video games, more cats. But no, like somebody gets rich, and what do they do? They buy like a fucking uh, a Corvette that's worth six hundred thousand dollars, and then a, a multi million dollar mansion. Like, what are you doing with a mansion, and fifty rooms? You're not gonna be in any of them. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> in case you don't want to ever see your family again, just put them on the east wing and you stay on the west wing. Let me tell you about the concept of luxuries. <laughs> <laughs> by, by design, they are not meant to be fulfilling. Yeah, to, yeah. I just, I can't stand the idea of mansions anymore because they're just, they're a waste of land and space. Yeah. Especially as someone who technically owns their own place. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want anything larger than what I have right now. Oh, God, no. I'd like to go go back to having just a... And, and the house would be one one story. No stairs. I don't... That's something I, it's something I think you, you kind of get, you get when you get older is just this dislike of stairs. Yeah, I can see that. Um, it's so tedious. I don't mind stairs because my current place has stairs. Hmm. Uh, it is more... I, I don't need any extra rooms, because I already have a room that I'm not using. Right? Like, I have two bedrooms, and originally I was using the second bedroom for work, and then I was like, well, this sucks, because if my parents come to town, they either have to stay in Jersey with my grandmother or a hotel, and I'm being... And I was like, so, uh, fuck it, I'll move my work into my bedroom and create a guest bedroom, and there you go. Yeah, that was like the only thing. Also, I have no idea where I need to go. Oh yeah, where are we in this? We're in the run road, which I don't know what direction of. Wait, which is the direction towards? Oh, you would have fought that monster if you went to the helipad at one point. Oh, okay. Okay, the question is, what direction do I go back to go to the... to the... Holy crap, this game is long. You're nowhere near the end. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the brain area. Yeah, cause here's the... Do I need to go to the right or do I need to go left? Okay, if I go through here, hopefully that... Also, I love the fact- this is Dinosaur Island. These don't look like dinosaurs. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's like Evangelion. We thought it was cool. Yeah. Okay. Eh. Oh, yeah, because there's that thing. Oh! Oh, hey! <laughs> Look what it is.
Okay, let's... Okay, that works. <laughs> Okay, was there a point to this? Uh, where are you? I just fought some sort of enemy. Just punch it. This isn't Resident Evil. I've been booped. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect, but it certainly wasn't that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. This is where you are supposed to get the Gatling gun if I... Yeah. If I didn't exploit... Okay. Yeah. And I take it all... Yeah. Boy, I hope there isn't something here. Okay, this just looks to be... Okay, that would be where I would acquire the Gatling gun if I didn't already have it. Okay, so there's that. So I'm gonna guess that no, I need to go to the other side of the run road. Find posting in this game not that good. Yeah. Is locked. Great. Oh, wait. Actually, oh, I was right there. What is it, Nappy? Yes. Uh. What? Okay. Janine. You did this? I guess she's not on our side after all. I'm fine. Nephilim is not an enemy. I can see now what she's trying to tell us, but... But... It's a vision. Hard to describe in words. She's not human. I think that's obvious. I mean, she's still an intelligent life form, but how should I phrase it? It's as if her body and soul can be detached. The Nephilim we see now 
is her soul. Her body is in a different place? Okay. Oh. Who is it? Elliot. What's the code? My sweetheart. Uh Oh, here we go. What's the blue blinking light represent? I don't know. I can't identify it. Well, how do you get into the research lab? I'm sure you can get in with Chris's ID. I wonder if this blue light is the cause of the disaster. Is this one of your hunches again? I'm not twisting your arm to come with me. Don't be a smart-ass kid. The electricity is back on. I can unlock the run road and open the door to the car. It's a lot safer to use the car. Merry Christmas! It's now the 25th. Oh, this is the worst Christmas I ever had. Damn, it's my payday. Did you miss a date tonight? No way. Let's go. To the bank? No, to the place where the blue light's at. Call me when you need me, Janine. All right. <laughs> okay. Take care. Uh, this dialogue is, uh, interesting. I'll just call it that. Okay, I think I need to go west. This is just, yeah, your basic. Yes. Okay. Um. In that case, I will actually be right back. Everybody drink. Get your sippy sip on.
All right. Have you acquired the thirst? I have acquired a thirst. I also have acquired a snack. Ooh, what snack? Uh, caramel M&Ms. Okay. I ate the second portion of yesterday's dinner. Nice. Pesto chicken. Hmm. All right, so With where your the... favorite mayo. Oh, uh, what, what is that? Uh, you put the mayo in with the pesto, you stir it up, and you get a oh. really nice cream... Very nice creamy uh, pesto. Ah. Uh, uh, so where am I supposed to go? Just out of curiosity. Uh, right. Let me just uh, uh, crack some knuckles. Fire up the old. It's right here. Um. Go back to the lower run road to the brain department control room. You did that. You saw the nephilim. Yep. Uh. Okay. Approach the main control terminal. Mm hmm. Uh, use Chris's ID card for the computer. Take care. Okay. As I say, where is the computer I'm supposed to use? All right, take it it's here. Whichever one lets you. The city. Huh. Okay. Concentrate. Take care. Approach the main control terminal. The control terminal directly across from the sh the slope shuttle control terminal. Oh, okay. I think I know Take where care. that is. Good. Yes, I know. I won't, just because you told me to. Like, it's not a yep. terrible game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's also not a good game. Yeah, it's a little weird. I mean, and I kind of feel like it, it has a feeling that a lot of Dreamcast games had, which is kind of like just this, you know what they were going for, and you appreciate it, but it just falls short in certain ways. Okay, can you, re okay, can you repeat where? Yes. Um, approach the main control terminal, the control terminal directly across from the slope shuttle control terminal. You'll know you've found it when you use Chris's ID. Okay. Watch out there. Thanks. Yeah, all of the, the Dreamcast survival horror games that I played, or just straight up horror games that I played, there's like this earnestness to them that I respect. For immediate departure. But at the same time, it's just, it's missing something. Wait, did she say idiot departure? Immediate departure. <laughs> it's only like it's an idiot departure. <laughs> like, in terms of the the game's incompetence, it's an odd incompetence. I, it's not like direct, you know. If I remember correctly, this is more. Um. Okay. There's that. He's now activated. I can always load up that video. Yeah. Which is nice because they got it to bookmark. bookmarks anymore. Stand by for immediate departure. <laughs> I enjoy seeing the Nephilim just zoom. It's <laughs> meow.
Yeah, because the slope there. God. Hmm. I'm just watching the video right now, trying to get an idea. So, anime Cortana is some sort of presence that um, knows what the source of the disaster that's happened in this area is. so weird. When I looked this up, it showed me the bookmarks, and now I don't see them. Are you sure it's the same video? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, same video. Alright, well, I'll just go from here, then. Mm -hmm. I guess I gotta look from here and see what's Next. Right, I think I'm at the Nephilim part. Okay, yeah, I'm at the cutscene now. Yeah, okay. Go back to the room with the lady. Uh huh. It's one of the blue panels. Who is it? Okay. In that center. Elliot. What's the code? My sweetheart. It's one of the blue panels? Yeah. No, no, on the center console. It looks blue, at least from what I see. That's weird. Did you already do it? Maybe. And it's in here? Yeah. Um, it's, I think it's the one that's turned off. Maybe I... <laughs> Because the background has that blue screen and that yellow screen. I think that's it. So I think you did it already. Hmm. That's weird because you need that to... Maybe I used it and I just didn't, like, I just didn't see it. Yeah, because there's a full cutscene that shows, like, a map that appeared. Yes, yeah, so there was a map that appeared. And there was a blue object? A blue dot unknown? in the... All right, then you're good. You can keep moving. Uh, where do I move, then? Then you move to... You gotta go to the lab, so go... Apparently, the ga the guide says to go to the Kimra Bank in the okay. mid area of the city area. All right. Oh, this is it's for money. There's also the Omega Club. Yeah, you got the Omega Club. Key. Yep, I did. All right. Honestly, um, all of that's in there is stuff that you can just buy, so don't bother with that. Let's just uh, so, let's just keep up with the game. Does the Omega Key mention something about a bath? Uh, it's a stripper club. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, there's a really dumb thing that happens there. I mean, if you, you can go there if you want. Yeah, so I'm curious, because there is an infamous scene in, the, in this game that I think happens there. Right. And then once you're done, just go to the Jeep hangar and use the Jeep. And you'll be on your way. Okay. And where is the Jeep hanger? Stand by for immediate uh, departure. Jeep hanger is in section A3. Is that in the run road? Uh, yeah, run road. Okay. God, I, the longest I've ever gone is nine hours straight, and I can't do any more than that. I've done 12. Those are brutal. But to be fair, my nine hours was spent in full costume with a mask, eating hot sauce every time somebody donated over $5. Yeah, mine was not bad. I was sweating and very unhappy by like hour seven. That sounds about right. I actually had to take the mask off because I almost passed out. <laughs> it was not a well thought through uh, stream. I did find out that Streamlabs owes me some money, but because I switched banks, they couldn't give me it. Right. I like this game in theory. It's... It's not great, but also it's not the worst. No, yeah, no. It's... I've... We, we've seen worse than this on stream, and I have definitely played worse than this on my own time and on my stream, so... Uh, I find the game fascinating. It's oh, got some wait. interesting ideas, but they don't always come, like... They don't always mesh well with each other. It's funny you say that, LZ, because I could have sworn when uh, you were doing your intro for this slow, though, you mentioned that it was uh, yes, that's so. Xmas game. That's the entire reason why I'm doing it this month. Mm. You were supposed to do it before, but you decided you wanted to play something else instead. So what happened was, that was when I was experimenting with Redream. And things are, like, it was great because I was testing testing this out in here. And it was working so smoothly that I thought something was going to go wrong. <laughs> so I was really distrustful about whether or not it was going to work or not. Yeah. So I decided, like, you know what, I'm just going to play, play something else to be safe. And the other game I had up for vote is also technically a Christmas game, even though it's not really a... I don't think the theme of is Christmas, it just happens to take place. Oh, uh, which is Mizerna Falls. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to play it, but Torpid... What Torpid said about it kind of put me off on it is that apparently you need a guide for, like, the yes. best ending. Uh, it is a human entertainment game. Yeah. Uh, it yeah, is... Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. A lot of their games have uh, multiple endings. Uh, it is also a very uh, janky game. Uh, also, apparently the version of the game that's out there requires a very specific emulator. And yes, Missouri Falls is completely time-based. Then again, so is Deadly Premonition. I uh, it's much, it's very, the it's, it, it's stri very strict about its time limit. Hmm. 
Like, there is a... Not a real-time clock, but there is a... An in-game. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 I've I seen some of it, so I kind of understand. But, I mean, oh yeah. So, I mean, Clock Tower, in some technical senses, had some timing to it. But it didn't have, like, you know, events based on the time. It was just more like... You needed to you needed to do things in an exact order, or you were not going to get the best ending. Yes. For example, the first clock tower. If you grab the ham, uh, you're not going to get the good ending at all. You're stuck. Yeah, it's a bunch of things like that. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's the wrong way. Yeah, it's just there's a number of things about it that I just feel like would be very off-putting. Uh, on your end. Yeah. I, I prefer to not play games using guides when I stream stuff, because it's just, you know, I feel like it detracts from it, but I will not hesitate to grab one if a game's wasting my time. I wonder if... Because I actually don't know what is exactly the endings for that game. That's I'm not going to say it, because I'm sick of streaming it myself, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah. I kind of feel like that's one of those... Not quite you have to's, but, like, if you're looking at retro stuff, it's one you shouldn't, you know, pass up on. Uh, it is all... It's also... I... 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 I always love some, uh... Any chance to showcase anything about human entertainment. Yeah, I, I like them. I like them despite their... Not incompetence, but just, like... How tight-fisted they are with their design. Like, you cannot fuck this up, or you're just not gonna get the best ending. Too bad. Yeah, also, I completely forgot that this area is, like, a nightmare. Maybe I shouldn't have gone back here. It said it was... Where is it? I remember uh, where it is. Kind of vaguely. It's not that far away. It's just I forgot how much of a nightmare this area is to navigate sometimes. The alley between the barber shop and the Digi Muse Pleasure Dome Arcade. Yeah, and I'm right by there, so we'll get there soon. Oh, that's right. You can't leave in here for some strange reason. How do I door? How door work? At the alley between the barber shop and the pleasure dome. Yeah, because we gotta go through here. I wonder if the pleasure dome has been scraped and buttered. That's yeah, right here. It's funny, I think about it. Most cats, like, they, they have, you know, moments where they go into what's called the zoomies. Yep. Just... Alessa does not. Not since the time that I, I got her till now has she ever been like that. Uh huh. Ever. She's always been very chill and very laid back. Oh, that's where you would get the uh, lightsaber. Okay. Yep. So that would have been a good thing to have if I did not already have it. Yep. Okay. That's kind of why I said to just ignore it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if they'd have that thing listed in the guide, so... Okay. Uh, I don't know why the lightsaber's there. Give 
maybe a hint on what you were expecting to have happen? Uh, there is a scene with a bath. Which right. actually I think might be happening shortly. Anyway. Actually, you know what? Um... Hmm. You know what? I don't know. Oh, here we are. It's actually part of it, so let's see. Okay, I know where it is. Okay. And luckily you're near it. Okay. Oh, but I, I guess can... you can't attack underwater? Nope. Well, I think I can, but also... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Get full breath. Because I need to go in there, but... There we go. No, for me. Is that? Oh, I got a comment on Steam to add somebody as a friend, and based on their profile picture, they seem like they're a ten-year-old little girl, and that's a big no for me. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. seem safe. Oh, just standing there? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's only like a short time or distance, so I guess. I'm just very weird about fast moving platforms and not having any like rigging to keep me from crashing into Who shit. Is it? Elliot. What's the code? My sweetheart. I'm glad we get to hear that every time. Yep.
But yeah, th I mean, like, there are some interesting ideas in here, and some of them are done pretty well, and, and the campiness is always, I mean, campiness is almost always a good thing. Almost. Yeah. Okay, so, where is, oh. I'm gonna guess there. It's not a car, it's a jeep. It's a different. I thought they were gonna Austin Powers. <laughs> the 28 point turn. Also, is there someone in front here? Oh, it's just... okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna send this to you. Uh-huh. So you can do the thing. Oop. Once you do that, you'll be good to go. Okay. This is a germ-free zone. Don't you have to activate it? This is a germ-free zone. Uh, that's a good question. Because that looks like a quarantine. Or a, uh... Decom. This is a germ-free zone. I think it needs us to do something first. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Clean suit. We should change. Oh yeah, those uh hassy. I can't fit into a size M. I guess you'll have to go without changing. Do you think it's safe? I think based no, on his we'll have to find a bigger size. build, he's more of an XL. Probably. I found something in my pocket. Hassy. God, those jean shorts are great. Yeah, Hassie is the soda that we've been drinking down for a health thing. I like that this guide does not use the correct wording for anything. Yeah. I wonder if it's for a different version of the game. Uh, no, Dreamcast is in the uh, URL. Well, I was thinking like maybe the Japanese version or something and they're translating it. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, those look like the Hungry Man meals. <laughs> yeah. No. I've ha I used to try it because I was trying to like to save money, so I'd buy like a bunch of them. Ugh. So disgusting. Wait, Italian pasta and pizza. Pizza, sushi, steak, delicious. <laughs> I want some steak delicious. What's that shiny in the corner? Look at that. It's a bathtub. Cool. What do you mean, cool? It's, it's the smell which burns out. Really? Of course, I'm joking. Idiot. Watch it, Gold. Careful whose leg you're pulling. I can't hear you over the water! <laughs> Turning it up didn't make it any better, Lolo. Nothing's gonna stop. What are you gonna do if the monster attacks you while you're a button 
Don't point back, butt naked. Stop whining. Jump in the top. I'm not sure if this is such a good idea. Hey, in the tub we go. Good, good model rig. Bath in the middle of the battle. <laughs> that cool. Well, I guess. Hey, you're more macho than I thought. Shut up. Apparently, his dick is dick. Be the last man I need. I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't. About you, Lolo, but I didn't hear a fucking. Thing I didn't either. Off. I didn't realize that there was. No one mentioned the, the just the unending. Oh. Size LL. Hey, what are you suggesting? It's perfect for you. I mean, LL. I, guess I have no choice. Japanese size. Okay. It suits you. <laughs> it could have been an interesting scene, but I could hear fuck all of it. When you have a kid, I'll visit you. Audio balancing. That day might come soon. Check passed. You are now permitted to enter. I forgot that this happened so soon after. So yeah, uh, Elliot slurped some of the goop. Slurp. I forgot that that happens immediately as you get in here. Mm. Yep. Okay, you know what? I wonder. Good, I'm glad the Hassie goes straight through the oxygen tank. Uh, it's toxic gases in the room. Well, I meant more the fact that all the doors don't fucking work.
Okay. Valve room. Okay, I need Dr. Jacob's key first. Okay, Vini is not support sorted there. Yes. All right. What do we got here? Yeah, I think it expects us to be dogs here. Oh, there's a bunch of them more. Iron fists. Oh, that's where you can buy all that. Okay. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Just another entrance into nope. What is that? You have entered B section. All doors will be locked. Please wait. Oh. The dinocyte cell has been discovered. Please wait for personnel. Somebody will show up. Stupid, nobody will come. Your own dad, take it off me, please. I said don't talk. Here, let me. Okay. 
You're looking a little, uh, little worse for wear there. Yeah. Yep, we got infected. Okay, what do I do here? Can you jump up on the pipes? That's what I thought, but I guess not. Other than that, it looks like those two grates, maybe there's something that comes out of them? At some point, I don't think yet. Okay, that just goes up here. Yep. Azuka. Hmm. Got to anything? Oh, let's uh, let's check in with the guy. Um, ba -ba -bum. Pick up Santa Claus. Interior. Did you get the observatory key? Yep, got the observatory key. Uh, got the oxygen tank in there, went through there. Um, took the blood test. Did you find the staff only door? I did not. Um, all right, go back to the observatory and then in one of the hallways uh, near it, there is a uh, staff only door you want to go through. Uh, what is this? What is the item that you get in there? Uh, you got to save somebody. Okay. Okay, there's that. Okay, that's the material there. Should be a door that says staff only. Or maybe there's a sign nearby. It's an experiment room. Staff only. You need the ventilation room key. Oh, I used it. Okay, there we go. Yes. Okay. Okay, so in the the poison previously gassed area, there should be yeah a woman you want to save. Was it? Yes. Don't have anything to thaw it out. Okay. Frozen
Elliot looking at the signs. I don't have to buy, buy them if I don't understand them. I swallowed monsters. Don't talk. If you lose consciousness, I'll take care of you. I appreciate the three different songs played at the same time. <laughs> there we go. Does it say where the woman is? Um, it says... Enter the observatory room. In this room, you'll find an oxygen cylinder on a small table near a large bay window that looks into the next room. Through the window, you can see a female lab employee standing on the table. Uh, so maybe you have to go back to the observatory room after? Maybe. Because it says that there is a shutter blocking your access to that room. Kind of rude that they have enemies respawn. Oh, there we go. Alright, so you want to get in there. Okay. I think the light was coming from here. I think the you were going the right way before. Be Wait, what? Blue uh, that other door. That's hold on, hold on, hold on. Only. Let's go. The game completely forgot that I was poisoned. <laughs> This is fantastic. I think I was supposed to go in here before. Sequence breaking. That's here. Take it that is that and that. Okay, it's just that ammo. Okay. Okay. Go in there, and then that's that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I figured it was that room.
Okay, I don't think that's working. Jacob may know how. Where can I find him? He's at his private lab on the second underground floor. I don't know if he's still alive. I'll check there. Stay here, Elliot. All right. I guess you gotta find the cure. Yep. Uh, so from there, where does it say? Does it say anything? Oh. Um. Killing me, computer. Killing me. Oh, maybe if I. Go back to that, uh, room with the blood sample. That's not good. Is it timed? Oh, oh! Level two somehow. I don't think it's timed. Subject has been contaminated. This room will be isolated. Shit. Is killing you the only way to get out of here? This is an interesting twist, I guess. Um, so it says uh, there's. You want to get the exhaust room key? Head to where experimentation room number three is. There's a body you need to loot. Okay. Wait. Yeah, you can't go any further while you're... You're gonna have to go back up, I think. Oh! Uh, if you're wondering how this controls... Badly? Okay. I'm getting sick. I gotta look away. Yeah, this... I... This... Oh, I... Honestly, this is... The controls in this don't... Okay, I think I figured it out. I take that back. <laughs> uh, I literally... Like... I don't know how to control this.
This is honestly the worst controlling thing I've ever played. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Lost control. Okay. I don't know if this is where you're supposed to be. Because it's just like, this is talking about a lot of shit that you're also not doing. Well, I don't have a choice, is the problem. Yeah. Because that was the only way I could go. Unless this is actually taking me there. Because I can't, like, dismount or anything. I'm stuck on the ceiling. Right. Okay. Again, this game's got some interesting ideas, but when they execute them, it's just fucking weird. Yeah. Or sometimes just not good at all. I'm gonna slide out. Later. Later. Okay, what fresh hell is it expecting me to do? Hmm. You know what? I honestly don't know if I'll be able to, so to solve this because I was planning on going for like 30 minutes at most. And I think I'm actually kind of stuck here. I think that I could probably, like, brute force my way through this, but, um... 
I think it's going to take longer than I kind of want. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to call it there uh, for Blue Stinger. And just... I think... Uh, <laughs> We're just gonna leave there. Uh, suffice to say, uh, Elliot, you do find a cure for it. Um, I just forgot how. Is this? It seems like I might have done something out of order that just screwed me over. But uh, regardless, uh, with that, um, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, we're gonna do. Call this up. Close out this. And we're going to put the stinger on the board. So, um, let me actually get this up. In this. Okay, blue stinger. Blue stinger. It's not... It's not a great game. It's ch goofy and charming. I don't actually think that it quite gets the weird memeiness kind of thing. We do have Overblood in 666. But part of me almost says that Blue Stinger is actually slightly more competent than Blue Stinger. Or uh, Blue Stinger is more competent than Overblood. I actually don't think that Blue Stinger quite deserves the 666. Uh, that being said, I don't think it's terrible. Uh, it is definitely flawed, though. Um... Yeah. You know, I'm looking at Phantasmagoria Puzzle of Flesh. And for some reason, that's a similar game to me. Where it is both not terrible at what it does, but also kind of goofy. So I do feel like 13 actually is probably a good spot for Blue Stinger. Uh, definitely get the champ or camp charm. The music is not I'm trying to think. I'm gonna give it the upside down because it is very weird. Uh, the gameplay I don't really like that much. Uh, story's all right. Uh, same with difficulty. Doesn't seem to be that bad. Um, and the art, it looked fine for a launch blue or er, launch Dreamcast game. Um, that being said, I do feel like the signposting is a little weird. Uh, poor audio balance, definitely. Um. And I'm going to say somewhat, er, I'm going to say moon logic in a way, because I feel like uh, enemies don't feel that spongy, but though then again, I'm that might have been uh, something that I kind of wasn't seeing because um, I was using like advanced weaponry. So I think that I think that those two are good uh, for. Also, I don't think the maps relate out that well. 
So I think that that all I think is good for Blue Stinger. It's an all right game. It's it, I mean it's not the worst. But also I feel like it's not yeah. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh so there. Uh that is Blue Stinger uh put to this at least put done for now. And with that, um, that is going to do it for this episode. So let's talk about what you're going to do tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Uh, personal Twitter is at Loaded Puzzle. Uh, I have a Discord where you can chat the community and take part in polls. Occasionally I'll put stuff on for Media Delta that we can all watch. Uh, there's also a Patreon. Two and five dollar tiers helps with hosting costs and some various other things. Um... There's also, if you're watching this on a VOD, best place to watch it live is twitch.tv slash Lola Puzzle. Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday is 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and Sunday is 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if you do want to watch a VOD, best place to do that is at youtube.ltp.life. Um, uploads are Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And uh, this one go up on Wednesday. Um, there's also two exclusive shows, Media Delta and Hazeltown Story, um, where you can... Uh, listen to us talk about movies and shows and all that, and listen to tabletop se tabletop sessions. Uh, those get uploaded Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern on the YouTube channel and the podcast channel, which you find at radio.ldp.life. So tomorrow, we are taking a look at the 2000 um, Alien vs. Predator game. Uh, that is an interesting, kind of asymmetrical... Uh, I know the multiplayer is a big part of it, but uh, it does have campaign, which is what we're going to be taking a look at tomorrow. And that'll be interesting. So, I am going to send you all over to Axe, who is doing more Tormented Souls, I believe. And that should be a good time. So with that, uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of whatever time it is when you're uh, watching. Bye.